Hello, I'm Rick Mercer. I'm very proud of our men and women in the Canadian Armed Forces, past and present, and the work they do protecting Canada at home and abroad. Many Canadians struggle with mental health problems, but members of the Canadian Forces are at an increased risk because of the work that you do. There are many misconceptions about mental illness. There's a stigma about it, and one that needs to go away. It's not a weakness, a character flaw, or something you can just suck up and get through. Like any other disease or a wound, it needs treatment, and it's something you can recover from. Every day with treatment, support, and help people recover from mental illnesses. I appeal to you, if you are struggling, even if you aren't sure what you're struggling with, get the help that you deserve. If you know someone who is struggling, encourage them to get the help they deserve. The military's healthcare system is there to help members like you. If you are a veteran, there are services and benefits available to you as well. But they can't help you if you don't come forward. Don't suffer in silence. Help is waiting for you. Do it for yourself. Do it for your family. Do it so there is no longer a stigma that prevents others from seeking care. Do it for all Canadians. Do it so we never hear about our sons or daughters suffering or worse, hurting themselves ever. We need you to protect and watch over us. To do that, you need to be healthy. You are our front line and we stand proudly behind you with admiration and respect. My journey with, uh, into mental health uh, started when I was noticing things that were outside the norm that I could not explain. I felt like as I was a good actress, that I was still smiling for everyone, but on the inside I was not happy. Well, les deux reprises where que j'ai consulté, uh, La première fois, c'était un problème euh, avec ma conjointe, une séparation avec ma conjointe euh, au retour euh, d'une mission en Bosnie. Et la deuxième fois, c'est plus récemment, c'est un problème que j'ai eu avec mon père. Je ne me sentais pas. Je pleurais une grande partie du temps. Je ne voulais pas quitter la maison. Je ne pouvais pas manger. Au début, j'ai commencé à demander de l'aide parce que je me suis divorcé avec euh, ma femme. I was struggling with my own um, personal inability to cope. About three months after I arrived from Afghanistan, my wife told me, listen, you need to get help. And because I couldn't explain it, I had to go find other information. You no, know, I always had the nickname G.I. Jane. You know, I was the, the go, 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 I could do anything. No one knew exactly what I was going through inside. Whew. I was afraid that I wasn't going to be the strong chick anymore. Oh, I was very afraid of that. I was scared. It took me eight years to actually seek help. There's that fear that something's going to happen. So a lot of guys would say, oh, no issues, oh, no problem. And at one point in time, you need to go and get the help, because if you don't, your world around you is going to crash. There's no doubt to have in the maladies mentales. It takes a force of character to go and look for help. And you have to be strong. You don't have to wait. Parce que plus on attend, pire ça va être, plus difficile ça va être. But it's actually very courageous to go ahead and say, I need help. Euh, ouais, peut-être mes problèmes sont pas assez importants pour que j'aille consulter ou, euh, ou euh, ah, tu sais, bon, euh, les services de santé mentale, c'est vraiment pour les gens qui ont eu des problèmes en mission. Mais d'un autre côté, je me suis dit, euh, les services sont là, il y a des gens là-bas qui peuvent m'aider. The medical system was amazing. It was amazing. Um, my chain of command was amazing. Um, you know, no judgment. Um, things got worse. I still wasn't able to sleep, so I phoned uh, CIFMAP, uh, Canadian Forces Members Assistance Program. Moi, j'ai utilisé le, le numéro 800, uh, la ligne militaire qui nous aide. Well, to tell you the truth, he was, uh, he was like a friend. And uh, it wasn't me sitting on a couch, you know, telling him about my, you know, dramas and stuff like that. It was more of a, a conversation like we're having right now. She was waiting to hear what I had to say. It wasn't made up. She says, I don't know. I don't have a file. I want you to just tell me what you think is going on. And let's just take it from there. He made me feel at home. He made me feel maybe safe a little bit, able to talk and, and, and open up. All the specialists, psychiatrists, psychologists, medicines, qui te donnent un suivi extraordinaire, qui, qui font, ils te suivent, ils, te, ils font sûr que tu vas à tes rendez-vous, ils font sûr que tu es bien, on t'appelle chez toi. Écoute, je connais pas un autre travail qui ferait ça pour toi. Yeah, I trust my therapist 100%. 
The only time she discusses me is if I give her permission to do so. Uh, J'ai consulté uh, mon thérapeute et c'était 100% confidentiel. The system did exactly what you would want the system to do, which is protect my desire for privacy and confidentiality. Seeking help was the best decision I've ever made because, I mean, today I'm stronger than I've ever been. My husband said, you know, I got my wife back. My kids are like, we got our mom back. C'est comme avoir une jambe cassée, finalement. Écoute, si tu as une jambe cassée, tu vas aller voir le médecin. Si quelque chose qui ne va pas bien dans ta tête, tu as besoin d'aide, je n'ai jamais eu de réaction négative de la part de personne. Si quelque chose, ton boss est comme, OK, ils well, font quelque chose. Ils vont se trouver et ils vont être un bon sailor quand ils sont fixés. Mon patron était magnifique. Il m'a supporté. Il m'a laissé aller à mes rendez-vous médicaux parce qu'au début, c'était quand même nombreux. Puis nous, on avait des horaires assez spéciaux. On n'a pas des horaires de 8 à 4 au travail. I've had four subsequent promotions to my first seeking help and I have my family still with me and I'm still here. It didn't hurt my career. Actually, to tell you the truth, I think it helped because uh, after getting help, I was able to talk to young soldiers that had problems and were able to tell them, listen, uh, this is what I've gone through. So, I think it's important for me to d'aller de l'avant et de dire euh, non, il euh, n'y a pas de problème, euh, consultez, les services sont là pour nous. Puis, euh. If I saw someone right in front of me that had the same symptoms that I did, I would ask right away if they needed assistance um, and I would just try to make them feel like they're in a safe place. If anybody out there is suffering, uh, definitely uh, don't wait. If there's one thing I, I could do again would be to go for help a lot earlier. Aller consulter tôt avant qu'un problème devienne gros. Quand vous commencez à penser que peut-être que je pourrais peut-être aller déranger un travailleur social pour qu'il aille, mais allez consulter. Pick up the phone. Reach out. Talk to somebody. It's okay to be overwhelmed. It's okay to not know what to do. It's okay to be struggling. You need to think about what you need to do, what's best for you and your family. You have a long life, go live it.